Well, first of all, I'd like to say I think they're extremely important. Um, I think the first thing is that they give a complementary feel to research and teaching. Uh, sometimes these terms are in opposition to each other or seen as kind of binary. But actually, I think the fact that this allows some research into teaching and learning shows the complementary nature of research and teaching, which I think is really important message in the higher education sector. So that's the first thing why I think they're really important. Secondly, I think they allow um, research into a breadth of teaching and learning. Um, much research in teaching and learning is in the discipline. Um, a lot of people investigate their discipline, whereas this allows kind of cross-disciplinary and cross-institutional research. I think this is really, really valuable to come out um, and have that breadth of teaching and learning research. The other thing that I think it does very well is it goes deep um, into an area. So it does breadth and it does depth. Uh, and what I mean by that is that it shines a light on a particular area that might need some researching. In my case, it was assessing work integrated learning, but it allows you to go deep um, into one particular area, shining um, a level of insight into an, a particular area. So I think that's very valuable. Um, I think the fact that it is funded by the National Forum and uh, linked with the National Forum allows outputs of the research to go more easily into policy and more widespread actions. So I think the fact that it is linked with the National Forum um, allows that sort of more impact um, of the research. So I think, again, that's really, really valuable because um, sometimes research can kind of stay in peer review papers, but don't have an impact on policy. So I think that, that's really valuable. I think that these fellowships are vitally important. They provide a mechanism for those deeply involved in teaching and learning to leverage their experience and go further than they could otherwise and to share their findings with the community. Without this fellowship, I would never have the time or resources to explore topics that span, for instance, such a wide range of disciplines, educators and students. And additionally, truly future focused work uh, is really hard to accomplish without a structure, time and resources, particularly when you consider that that there are five fellowships, um, there's a good good amount of work being done and shared that's really at the, the cutting edge of teaching and learning and vitally that's all being done in the Irish context. So hopefully this work is really valuable and really directly applicable to a lot of those in higher education in Ireland today. For me, these fellowships are truly transformative. They spotlighted the integrated nature of teaching and learning research and scholarship in Ireland. They showcased the value and scholarship of teaching and learning and us, as the first set of fellows, we were ambassadors for this fellowship, the concept, as well as the actioning of it. We were touchstones for the sector and a catalyst for change. In this evolving higher education sector, particularly with the emerging TU sector, and those that teach within the sector, we could help shape and change how we value teaching and learning and the scholarship of teaching and learning. For me, it was an absolute honour to initiate a new community, one founded on individual excellence, however one that would be sustained by strategic scholarship and collaboration across the sector. It was great to be part of this at the very start, be part of something very special, and I really look forward to being part of the fellowship as it grows and continues to inform, shape and inspire the sector. I was recognised with this award in summer 2020, and I value it greatly. I feel it's made a, a significant impact um, to my day-to-day -day, um, commitments as a university professor and teacher of students, particularly in dentistry. I view the fellowships as incredibly important for the higher Irish higher education sector as they leave the opportunity to recognise people who have potential, uh, to recognise individuals of achievement and to give them space um, to develop and grow further within their field. Um, these fellowships are also um, incredibly important for the sector as they encourage um, as, as an ethos of excellence in scholarship and further development amongst uh, teaching-based practitioners. In my own experience, the fellowship has enhanced my day-to-day -day role um, in that I have had time to reflect and develop um, new skills in pedagogy and assessment, 
Um, I have found it incredibly worthwhile and valuable um, interacting with my uh, colleague fellows and we've nurtured and stimulated new ideas and development. Um, I'm asked the question, what do I think the teaching and learning in our higher education in Ireland will look like in 2030? And I think that's quite a daunting question to answer. I think if we were asked at the start of 2020 what we thought uh, teaching and learning would look like in Irish higher education at the end of 2020, I think any of us would have struggled uh, to answer that with any degree of clarity or uh, prediction. However, the words of the professor, the president of University College Cork, where I work, Professor John O'Halloran, keep coming to mind. Um, and John has a great phrase about how we are student focused and research led. And regardless of what teaching methodologies or structures or strategies we use, I think reflecting on those words will steer us well over the decade ahead as we move beyond the pandemic and into a world of excellence and development within higher education in Ireland. Um, well, first of all, I suppose to look at me in relation to, I suppose, my scholarship, um, it was a fantastic opportunity to develop as a scholar um, to develop my own research skills. I learned a lot about more qualitative research approaches by using a participatory and action research approach. So I really um, enhanced my solid scholarly skills in that in direction. Um, I also got to handle a lot of quantitative data, large quantitative data. And again, that gave me a great opportunity to enhance my own scholarly approach um, in relation to sort of um, uh, the skills and confidence with, you know, so both with qualitative and quantitative. Um, the other area in relation to scholarship, which is lacking, I think, in the area of teaching and learning research, is having conversations with other peers in this area. So it was really nice to be able to chat with the other fellows who would be peers in this area, chatting to them about their own research, getting some feedback on my research, hearing about their research and having that peer support piece that was really um, enhanced all of our scholarship. I think all the fellow scholarship. For me, after continuing this research, it has changed me, has changed what I do, it changed how I teach. It also has changed the way I engage with students and engage with colleagues. I appreciate diversity much more now and I have become a strong ally for all those in higher education. Um, I've, I've really learned a lot during this fellowship, and I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to share that. Um, I mean, my most overwhelming evidence, I think, I have for that fact is that my list of things that I want to look into, um, it has grown tenfold since my fellowship has started. So it's like everything that you find, uh, that there's three more things behind that. And I mean, that's really exciting, but it's also uh, a challenge to, <laughs> to control.